Yo, what up, Philip? Alright, let me tell people we're live to Raiden's here too. Dope, dude. Yo. Yo, what's up, guys? Let me see. Oh, I gotta tell people we're live. Ooh, someone already posted their homework. Good job, Philip, dude. Good job, bro. On that hustle, bro. I like that, dude. You know, we gotta go over. I said something that my teacher didn't teach. <laughs> but they give you like, homework when I on say it. That, I mean it because um, he gave us a video to watch and we had to take notes on it. Really? Yeah. He hasn't taught in like last two classes. He was just on his like computer. We had to do group work. The fuck? And then and then I'm trying to help out Patrick because he's in Poland right now. Patrick's in Poland? Yeah, he went like last minute. His parents were like, dude, is he going to go find a wife, dude? Like, he's gonna struggle trying to learn this. He's coming back like Saturday. He's oh, well, a lot of help. Good thing I post the streams on YouTube. All right, so let's see. We are going over. Oh, I see. Compositions of functions, right? Composition of functions. All right, let's do this. Let's do this while, we, while, while I got you, dude. Okay, which ones do you need help with? All right, so 69A. Oh, wait, no, 73, 73, 73. Find two functions f of g such that f of g of h equals h of x. Here are the correct answers. Oh, okay. Okay, 73? Yep, 73. Okay. Raiden Dog, what are you always doing on your mic, dude? I'm a server mute you, dude. Don't do that. <laughs> There's always something on your mic, dude. Sounds like it's just like your phone's in your pocket. <laughs> okay. Well, can you, can you not make the noise, please? Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Okay. What am I looking up? On that grind to get those bomb coins. He is on that grind, dude. I appreciate. I need. The grind. I need. I want. I want. I think I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna get the Steam gift card because I've been into CSGO recently. Yeah. I'm gonna need to get those skins. I'll see us go. The skins, dude. Wait, isn't aren't you? This you already got tier one and tier two, though. Do you go for tier three now? I'm going for tier three right now. Oh, tier three is a video game. It's not 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 gift cards. <laughs> oh, you can't do a gift. Card. No, I gotta I gotta buy you an actual game, dude. Yeah. Uh, Otherwise, people would just cash out for the sixty dollar gift card all the time, and then I'd just be like, oh, I'd be out by like sixty bucks. Like, it's supposed to be a game because what what the whole point of that, the whole reason why we do that part of the gift is I'm trying to encourage you guys to play different games, not to just like keep racking cash. <laughs> Well, I can with that gift card. I can buy different games. You on can, Steam. you can, but I can also buy the because game. I can also gift you. Me, I can gift you the game though, can't I? See, that's that's the that's the whole. Thing. Um, so that that's the problem. I'm not really into any games right now, but if I find one like gas station simulator, yeah, like, there you go. You money, gotta find one. You gotta find that's one. That's what dude. I did. Yeah, you gotta find one, dude. Dude, I've been on hold with this All fucking right. bank dude for like 14 minutes. They're not. Oh, dude, I fucking hate. The world these days, dude, is, is a very strange place, dude. I paid five dollars for gas today. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, Whoa, how much? Five bucks, dude. It was five dollars for the fucking gas, dude. Per gallon? Per gallon. It's five dollars. Oh my god. I thought three sixty five, I think, right now. No, it was five dollars. What's up, Smooth Bird? What's up, Nick? What's up, Mechanical? What's up, Ivana? What's up, Ash, dude? Good dude. <laughs> What, what does it mean guys. by, like, find two functions, f and g, such that f times g? So f of g of x, it, so what this means here, Philip, when it's f this g, this this is the same thing as saying f of g of x. That's the same thing. Yeah, that's, okay, that's what I've been learning, yeah. Okay. But then it's saying f of g of x is equal to h of x. Yes, equal to h of x. h of x are these things, okay? So here, I'll give you an example for the first one, okay? I'm trying to get something to equal 2x plus 1 squared, right? So what I could say is I could just be like, all right, well, let's let's call let's call this shit whatever, right? Let's call let's call this g of x. Like let's call this Hold on, whose microphone is like that? Is that you, Raiden? No, it's Raiden. I just I just turned him down. Actually, I'm going to server mute him, dude. Like, you can server muted. There you go. Either, like, stop stop making noise in the Discord or you get server muted. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, Philip, you, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, G of X is this, okay? Okay. So, you see how I have... Okay, so let, let's pretend this whole bitch is G of X, okay? So, now what I have is I have G of X 
squared, right? Mm-hmm. So then what is what is what is f of x gonna be? Because I need it to be f of g of x, right? Equals g of x squared. So f of x is gonna just equal x squared. Okay. Do we see this? Because that's the parent function, right? It's not the parent function. No, parent function oh, is usually a function and their transformations. Okay. It's a. Uh, let's, let's see. Wait. Yeah. So he didn't. He, yeah. Yeah. He did not teach us at all. I need F of x equals x squared. G of x equals two x plus one. Yes. Do you see okay. how f of g of x would be? So. Well, this, because because f is just x and then the square. Well, no, f f f, f is x squared. So f of g of x yeah. would be g of x squared, right? Squared. But what is g of x? And g of x is two x plus. One. Good, good. G of x is two plus two x plus one. Do you see how it's two x plus one squared, which is exactly what you're trying to get? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Okay, so then so what would it be for seventy three? Squared plus one. Oh, okay. Uh, so we got <clears throat> h of x equals. The cube root of x squared minus 4. Uh-huh. So then you got to rewrite as f of g of x. Uh-huh. <clears throat> g of x uh, equals, would it be x squared, um, x minus 4? No. x squared minus 4? x squared minus 4, that's good. Yes, good. Good, that's a good example. Yeah, let's, let's put that over here. Fuck, that's big. Jesus, what? Okay. <laughs> G of x, right, is equal to x squared minus 4. I agree with that. And then f of x equals the cube root of x. Cube root of x. Good. Oh, yeah. nice, oh I actually got that. Sick. Right. So you see how f of g of x would then equal the cube root of x squared minus 4? Yeah. Cool, dude. The rest are easy. Right. That's what it just wants us to list the functions. Yeah, it just wants you to create two functions, dude. Yeah. So. All right. Can you can we do one more on that? Yeah. Sure. Let's, Let's uh, do the one with the fraction, number seventy-five. Seventy-five. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. How do you think you do seventy-five? All right. So <laughs> let me write it. H of x equals one over x plus two. Mm-hmm. So then we need to write out <clears throat> f times g x. So then this would be f of g of x. Oh, I wrote that wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm writing this down. G of x. All right. So g of x mm -hmm. is going to equal to x plus 2. Good. And then f of x equals to x. No. Or just 1. Nope. Just one. One over x. Yes. That would be nice. Yes. One over x. How would that work? Because watch f of g of x, right? Mm-hmm. Is equal to one over x plus two. See how f of x was 1 over x? What's up, yeah. Cypher? Me and my girlfriend broke up today. Oh, fuck, dude. It's all right, though. That's all right, dude. She a trick, after school dude. today, like, after her friends found out, they were all, they all came up to me and they was flirting with me and stuff, so that's cool. <laughs> were you wearing the tank top again, bro? Were you wearing the tank top? <laughs> Hoes are mad, huh? dude. Were you wearing the tank top, that crop top you were wearing last time, dude? Oh, nah. Oh, okay. Uh... Damn. All right, she, let me... she woke up to me. She's like, oh, I want to focus more on my mental health. I'm like, all right, cool. That's... I'll respect that or whatever. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you got to respect and that. And then she went and cried to her friends about how she felt bad. Oh, okay. And then, so her friends came up to me and they're like, hey, by the way, you're really cute. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh dude, that's the worst, dude. What? <laughs> all right, let me finish this question with Philip real quick. Then I'll talk relationship advice. Then they started like, Asking about my dick and stuff. Weird. No, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Philip, do you see how this works? <laughs> the G of X. <laughs> Wait, can you explain the difference between F of X and G of X? Like what you said yesterday. They're just two different functions. G of X is a function, right? F of X is a function. Mm -hmm. F of G of X means that 
Okay, so... What the fuck am I saying? So... Because you said it yesterday really well, and I already forgot it. They're just functions. They're just labeling different functions. So f of x, f f of g of x, right? F of mm -hmm. g of x g. is just equal to so any anywhere usually there would be an x. I'm now going to put a g of x. So instead of saying one over x, I'm going to write this as one over g of x. So you're going to one over x plus two. Yes, because g of x is x plus 2. So now it's 1 over x plus 2, which you see is like what you're trying to get. And then f of x would just be 1 over x. Correct. So f of x is like the, the big the big function. It's not really the parent function. It's the big function. And then like g of x is like the thing that gets put inside of it, you know? Um, Can we do one more then? Can we yes. do the number 76? We should, we should do 76. I agree with that. Let's do that. Let's do 76. All right. Let me write it down. So like always look for like what's like the you know what it is it's like you're building a fucking house right like like mm -hmm. here, here's the big house and oh. then like here are the windows you know like here are like the parts right so like mm -hmm. I would think of it as like okay let's 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 say that like f of x is equal to a box right and that g of x is you know equal to I don't know let's say like the door okay. So like f of g of x is just saying that, okay, cool. So I have a house, and then inside of it, I'm putting g of x, which is the door. Maybe that's like a graphical way to look at it, you know? So in this case, right, my house was like 1 over something, right? And then that something is what ended up being the door, which was the x plus 2 that I put into it. It's like f of x is like telling you the big the big structure of, of what the function is. And then g of x is like what is, is what what is getting put into that placeholder for it. That so, makes for seventy six? Yes. So I would it be g of x equals to 1 over 5x plus 2 squared? Uh, that would be f of x. That would be f of x. Well, okay, so let's, hold on a sec. You're, you're saying g of x is equal to 1 over 5x plus 2 squared? Yeah. And what were you going to say f of x is equal to? And then f of x is equal to 4 over x squared? No, no, no. In that case, f of x would have to be equal to 4x. Because look, when I put g of x, right, into here, into the x, then I would get the 4, 1 over 5x plus 2 squared, mm -hmm. which would be my what I wanted. Okay, let me make this. Let me put Wait, this. so I was, I was right with g of x? No, you, you, well, there's no, like, wrong answer because you can do this a bunch of different ways. Wait, what do you mean there's no wrong answer? Because watch, here, I'll show you. Um, Let's go, let's go to, fuck. Uh, this is actually yeah. This is a good one. Let let's do this one. Let's let's let let me show you a couple ways you could have done this. Okay, right? I could say that f of x is equal to four over x, and g of x is equal to five x plus two squared. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Another way I could have done this, I could have said that f of x is equal. Uh to 4 over x squared. If I said that, what would g of x be equal to? Then it would be 5x plus 2. Good. Without the square. Yeah, without the square, right? Because you see how the square was already getting taken care of in, in the f of x one? Yeah. Do you see how these are both technically correct answers? Because if I, yeah, put, I, so. if I put g of x in for x, right, I get the same answer. I get the 4 over 5x five, five plus 2 squared thing. Okay. Yeah, you don't seem convinced. Well, no, because it, it all ends up to be the game the same thing. Yes. So another way so I could do all, it. It depends on how you see it. Yes. Good. Right. Yes. Depends how you see it. So you said this. You said I'm gonna make it one over five x plus two squared. Like you're you're having this whole part be g of x. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in order to get to this, that means f of x would need to be four times x. Mm-hmm. You see that? Because now when I plug okay, this into here. I would get the same thing. 
I couldn't I couldn't do four over x squared because it's already the square is already taken up taken taken care of. Nice Masons. Um you could so you could do you could do four over x squared, but then g of x would need to be this, right? G of x would not need, you couldn't have the square in it. Right? Yeah, okay. Do you get that? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's Let's try it. I want I want you to do I want you to do seventy eight actually. Oh god. Do seventy eight, bro. You got it. Seventy eight, alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna make a fucking massive uh, H of X equals X plus three three over two plus four parenthesis X plus three and then do one half. Oh god. Mm -hmm. So f times g of x equals to f of g of x. Alright. F of x and g. <laughs> Alright. So we'll do f of x first. So f of x can equal to x plus three plus X plus I'm gonna do X plus three plus X plus three. Can I do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's another kind of hint. Okay. Let let let's do G of X. You always want to do G of X first, I think. Honestly. Oh, okay. Let's do G of X first. So what's what's something you see that's like happening a lot of times in this? Do you see like something common? X plus three. Good. Let's just say G of X is equal to X plus three. Okay. Okay. What would f of x need to be so that when I plugged in g of x, I would get this? When I plugged in g of x for x. Um, three over two to or the power three over two. No, so it would be x to wait, the. Wait, wait, x three over two plus uh -huh. four, and then <clears throat> x. You want to put that in parentheses, right? No. The x. No. No. Oh no, no, no. to the one half. Good. This works. This is this, this is correct. I think this is actually kind of the only. Wait, but you can't. Can do, are you sure you you can't do x plus three plus x plus three because there's two? No, no, no. You only need it once because 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 okay. remember, Philip, Philip, Philip. Remember, f of x, f of x means anywhere I see x, I plug in whatever the fuck is here, right? Okay. Do you see how like f of So I'm starting to understand this better. Good. That's always the goal. F of G of X, right? Do, do you see, like, yeah. anywhere I, I, I had, like, an X, I'm going to put G of X instead. So this is G of X to the three halves. Here, do you want do you want me to send you the video I had to watch for notes? No, I don't want to watch it. It's probably is garbage. It, it's probably fucking. Garbage. It's re it's really bad. It's probably fucking garbage. I I want to send it to you so you can like criticize. I it. will criticize it later. Okay. Do you see this though? Like f of g of x, right? Yeah. So anywhere there was an x, now there's Where a g of x. An x. Good. And this is always kind of the thing is that instead of whenever you see the g of x, you need to put parentheses around what like you're putting in. So this becomes x plus three to the three halves, right? Plus four. Yeah. X plus three to the one half. Do we see that? That makes sense, Philip. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Compared to what this video had, because the video n n never like necessarily told us. I'm sure. I'm sure. Until you absolutely sure. F of G of X works. Okay. The video was like 13 minutes for the first part. Mm -hmm. but and then, yeah, it was just like, if you need help, you have to ask the teacher, but we did group work. I sent you the video. Okay. It's like, she just goes through the problems without really explaining it. Uh-huh. Yeah, teachers are lazy it. sometimes. And, but before that, it was fine because we were getting, like, notes, but I don't know what happened to our teacher. Like, mm. she just decided not to job for a week. Nice. Okay. Like cool. You'll see, she would just go through the video, just doing the problem without explaining how to get there. Yeah, which is not really teaching then at that point, right? It's just like, what are you actually doing? Like, oh, also for world history, 
We're doing um, AP World History. We're doing a Colombian exchange party. Ooh, okay. But instead of doing an actual party because it's COVID, she's like, we bring in our stuff and we have to write a paper about it. <laughs> so it's not... I don't know what party she's talking about. Cause that's like, yeah, is that a cocaine party? Paper. What's a Colombian party? <laughs> so I did... I'm doing rice. Oh, okay. Rice is good. So... And you get extra credit if you bring it in, and rice is just, dude, I can do yeah, Dude, rice is mad easy to make, dude. Yeah. So, uh, here, I'll explain exactly what I do. I don't know, okay. So, for the paper, it's only supposed to be, like, one or two pages, 350 words max. Uh-huh. You're supposed to discuss the place of origin or the place of domestication of your item, describe various ways your item has been used or experienced throughout history, discuss the impact your, hi- um, your item had on civilizations or area, and then discuss the impact your items has brought to civilizations in the area which the item was brought to during the colonial exchange. That's all I had to do. And I had to use a primary source and one primary source primary source and one secondary source. Uh-huh. So I guess I guess it'll be fine. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> um. All right, cool. All right, nice. Is that, is that all your questions? Um, um, do you want to know what I learned or what we did today, Ken? <laughs> yeah, you can tell me what you did, Ken. Um, saturated, unsaturated, and super saturated. Ooh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like um, whether you're putting like too much salt into something or something. Mm-hmm. So we did a we did a lab experiment today with NAC. And they see something. Let me get the exact term. But we basically put like 0.5 grams of crystals. We shaked it. Another 0.5 grams. We shaked it. You know, it was unsaturated. And then we put in 14 grabs. And, we and then it's like it's too much. Saturated. Yeah. Because the, um, the crystals wouldn't dissolve. So it's saturated. And, and then you then put like way too many crystals. Saturated. And it's like it's like super saturated. Super saturated. And then what we did was we... um. We um, dissolved all the crystals by using, like, and changing the heat and, like, stirring it quickly. Mm-hmm. People say and then, is making a lot of noise. And then we put uh, that yes. into cool water and then waited five minutes. And when we put one crystal in, it went from a liquid to a solid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of like the oobleck thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it suddenly it all it crystallized. Yeah, that's a pretty cool thing, dude. Chem's fun. That's what I learned. Nice. Oh, uh, and, I, and I took AP Chem and Lab. For next year. I can Good. crystallize for you, Dr. Gold. What's what's up, Grim? I can crystallize for you. You can crystallize for me, dude. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, Raiden, you here, dude? You want to go over your question? No? What was Raiden talking about? He said he would give me all of his bond coins. Yeah, Raiden, you trying to give him all his bond coins? No. Raiden. I'm going to need his approval. Raiden. I don't know. I just hear Raiden's. You just hear Raiden's static, dude. He he wonders why I why I server mute him. Like, <laughs> it's probably, I didn't do anything, bro. What you doing? <laughs> ah, he's alive. <laughs> nice, dude. Good to see you, Raiden, dude. Hey, are you say what? Awesome? Yeah, I gotta I gotta get yeah, you I a say. fucking set of AirPods or something, Raiden, dude. You say what? Exactly. <laughs> what? Raiden, why are you giving me all your bomb coins? I don't know. You want him or not? If he's offering. If he's offering, dude. I mean, I'll take him. All right, let's see. Raiden, 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 Raiden. What, what else? Which one do you need help with? Both. Both? Okay. Okay, some geometry. Okay, some geometry okay. here. We got some geometry coming up here, guys. All right, so find X, X if S. Oh, I'm, I'm, I want to rotate this bitch, dude. What's this even like straight? There we go. What are you doing? I'm making it so straight. Find SR. Figure out S if SR is two x minus one and BR is one half x. Okay, this is one half x and SR is two x minus one. Oh, that's cool. I think there has to be a little bit more information about this. <laughs> no, no, you can solve this easily. Yeah, well, you know, I guess I'm assuming that this is a bisector, right? Is that what we're assuming? We have to assume that. Well, where? Or else you can't do the problem. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's that's the issue. That's what I'm saying. Like, I need more information. I te- I bet there's something up here that says like assume that um that this that this that this is a bisector. 
that, that these lines are bisectors or angular bisectors? If not, I usually just have to assume it. And if yeah. my teacher says no, then it's too bad. Oh, okay, okay. So, guys, in, in triangles, triangles are fucking cool. There are coolest three-sided shapes. They're actually, the only three-sided shapes are called actually. triangles. Um, you can have what are called uh, bisectors, right? Do you know what a bisector is, Raiden? What is a bisector? Hmm? You're asking a question? Yeah. Oh, what, what was the... What was the what what's, what's a bisector? Uh, the bi is an angle, two smaller or congruent angles. Good, two congruent angles. Nice, nice, dude, yes. So, yeah, Raiden said it. So, a bisector, which is something like here, this line here, divides this big angle, right, RTS, into two congruent angles. Congruent angles means they're the same angle, okay? And when it does that, okay, when you have something where it has two of the same angles like this, what that does is that splits this side into two congruent sides as well. Okay? Damn, there's a lot of static on your mic, Raiden, dude. Are you, are you in a oh. washing machine, dude? Thousand. Right? I always get confused, like what, what, what your different like audio setups are, like what you kids are using for mics, like. No. Okay. Okay. So, All right. Wait. Wait. Can you server death and Raiden for a second? Please don't. Well. Just for a second. I I want I want to see if I can do this quickly. Is he server deafened? He is server deafened. Okay. So. So you see BR is um, congruent to SB, right? Uh -huh. So you, you just do one half X, one half okay. X. You add those two together, right? To make uh -huh. it one X. Yeah. And then you set, you do two X minus one equals one X. Yes. Correct. No, I can still hear you. <laughs> yeah, he's oh. a mod. He can un undefin himself. <laughs> oh, yeah. So basically I did the wrong thing. He um, did the wrong. Raiden, Raiden, okay. So, so yes. These are angular bisectors, right? Which means that this side is equal to this side. Okay. Oh, so, what that means is that BR, right, has to be exactly half the length of SR, right? Because this and this are the same. There's two parts to it. So, I can say that, okay, 2 times BR yes. has to that equal way, the yeah. whole thing, which is SR. Okay? Good. You know what BR is. BR is 1 half X. So, you have 2 times 1 half yes. X is equal to SR, which is 2X minus 1. So now this is just algebra. Two times a half is just x, or two times a half is just one, so it's just x. Equals two x minus one. We can move this over, move this over, so I get one is equal to x. So x just equals one, really? Is that really what it is? That's super dumb. Yes, x just equals one. Okay. Does that make sense, Raiden? Yeah. Okay, do you know how to do the next one then? No. Well, then, I want you to try. Uh, okay. I'll do it the way you taught me to do it, okay? Well, do it the way I just taught you. You know, that's the whole reason why we're here. Well, that's well, the whole reason we're giving help. You know, I can't learn that fast. Okay. I'm well, I can be slower. You you just got to tell me, Raiden. You got to tell me if you, if you want me to be slower. I'm not very slow, but, like, still, I can't learn that fast. Well, well, I mean, this is the whole point. The whole point is for, <laughs> for me to teach you how to learn here. Oh, right? I'm not slow. Wait, so was I right? Yes, you were right, Philip. <laughs> I knew it. <coughs> so, Raiden, how are we doing this one? Uh, I'm doing this weird thing that you told us to do that I didn't like the one. You gotta speak up, dude. I can't hear you. Hold up. Here. Water bottle. Water bottle. I don't know what water bottle means. Is the equation x plus x minus one? No, this is equals two. This is two x minus one over two, right? That's what s y is. That's what this is. If if it x equals two x minus one, then we solve that. Uh. Actually, it is, but how did you get that? Oh, so basically, uh, you know, like, the, the, the distributive property thing? Yes. 
I basically like the chances of the denominator by multiplying by the denominator, and that's what I just did. Okay, so what 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 you did originally though, Raiden, is is you realize that this is a bisector, right? Yeah, 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 totally. Which means that this side S Y has to be equal to this side S Z. Okay. So you have 2x minus 1 over 2 is equal to x over 2. That's correct. So then, yes, you can multiply both sides by 2 in order to cancel. Cancel them out like that. And you get 2x minus 1 equals x, right? Yeah. So you get the same answer. Man, this is just like super lame, dude. What? You just add 1, add 1. 2x equals 2. You just get x equals 1. It's like, whoa, holy fuck. It's the same fucking answer. <laughs> dude, this math worksheet's the dumbest shit ever, dude. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I am. I'm. I'm fucking mad at this. I'm mad I'll at lazy out. ass fucking homework question I writers. I have questions. I like your questions, dude. Your questions are okay, but like the questions they ask are dumb. Um, what other questions do you you have? More questions? Cool. Post them. Dude. Yo, Raiden. What? Did you get tier two yet? No. Wait, how much is tier two again? Is Thirty. Thirty. Then what's tier one? <gasps> mm -hmm. Oh wait, 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 oh yeah, I remember because it was it was supposed to be ten twenty, and then you change it to thirty, and then you need ten. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, I need to get my steps, and I forgot. Wait, when did that happen? Yeah, you need to get that new roll. I'm, I'm about to have two K points, dude. Wow. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna sub with Prime. Wait, 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 Doctor Gold. Would you would you buy a knife in CS:GO for me? Would I buy a knife in you for CS:GO? For what? Yeah, would would that count as a game? No, it's not a it's not a what? It's not a game. I'll take a gift card then. <laughs> for Steam, you know. <laughs> Teach me DNA versus <laughs> RNA. Yeah. All right. Where's Cipher? Cipher, come in the chat, dog. Come in the chat, Cipher, dude. Your question's next. I got you, bro. I want to hear about your breakup. Inappropriate. Who's experiencing a breakup? Expired Cypher, dude. Apparently his girl broke up. Cypher? Broke up. Yo, bro, Cypher, Cypher. Cypher, dude. Apparently his I'm going to give you some of the today. best advice ever right now. All right, listen. Yeah, what, what's his advice? Women are expensive. Women are Don't expensive. <laughs> He's not wrong, necessarily. Hey. Women do If cost. she ain't got money, it's not worth chasing her. Damn! <laughs> How dare you? You are is entirely. She crazy. has to have the money, not you. Right, yeah. oh, make right. sure she works. Make sure she works. Yeah, make sure she's working, girl. But make sure she's not working on the streets. Well, I had. He is for the he street, had a dog. Boom, boom, boom. Cypher, you want to go over your yeah. your homework question here, dog? The last Fuck like, you, week or two, I've been like surviving on. <laughs> what? Uh, no, I, I would like, like to get a uh, homework question done. Yeah, dude. Cypher, we're here. Let's help you out, bro. What's up, dude? Which one do you need help with? What? What? That one. That one. Number 11? Yeah. Okay, my guy. Let's do it, <laughs> dude. Um, Are you supposed to use a calculator for this one, though, bro? Yeah. A car. What type of calculator do you get to use? She, I don't know. The one that's for school. She gave. She, she told us how to do it. It's just I was high and I, I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you high right now? <laughs> no, I'm playing my game. Oh, here. Do you want to put your game down for a second so I can teach you it? Yeah, that's the biggest lesson you ever. Thank you, guys. Yeah, biggest yeah. lesson. Biggest biggest lesson. Take 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 a second to just. In the moment, though. Un momento para entender. Okay, dude, can you believe, dude? I've been on the fucking waiting with Bank of the West, dude, for 45 hey, minutes now. I'm They're still playing music. You can't hear me playing. Damn. Holy shit, dude. What? Really? People are on customer service for 45 minutes? This is nuts, dude. You're on customer service for 45 minutes? Yeah, dude. I've been calling my bank, dude, and I just let... So Google has this dope thing called, like... It's called, like, call waiting. Where, where, where they'll, like, just use a bot to, like, wait for me. And this bot has been waiting for 45 minutes. <laughs> I was like, oh. So bad for that bot. I do. So don't... should not be taking 45 minutes. Do that. 
This is the problem, dude. Like, yeah, dude, Jesus, what? Okay, all right. Um, okay, which calculator, uh, cipher do you get to use? Do you get to use one of these? Do you get to use like a, a TI, I don't know. like a TI 84? Is that what you guys get to use? No, they're not using a TI 84. TI 83, you got to use something that can do linear regression. This is called linear regression. Is that what, is that what they have to do? Yeah, dude. I don't know what the, it's called. It's just it's orange. You have an orange calculator? It it's, it shows it like at the top. Is it by TI? Yeah, who makes it? Who who makes your calculator? Do you have your yeah, calculator with I, you? It, it, no, we're not allowed to come home. It's a school calculator. Well, how the fuck mine. are you supposed to do this at home then? Exactly. All right, cool. All right. I just have more to show that. Here, stuff. you want you want me to show you how you do how you can do it in Excel? It's pretty cool. Sure. Here, do you have Google Sheets? Do you do you have Google Sheets? Is that like a thing that you guys use? Uh, I mean, I I know how to use it. It's just we don't use it at school. Okay, here we're gonna use it this time though. Cool. All, All right, right cool. are you watching the stream? I'm gonna show you how to do it. This is called linear regression, by the way. So. Linear regression is really fucking useful. So what it is is if you have a bunch of data points, you see how here it's like hours spent studying for a science exam versus the final grade, right? Yeah. So if we if we if we plot like grade versus like time studying, right? This would be what yeah. we call like a scatter plot, right? Where we got like a bunch of little different data points, you know? Say, like, I don't know, like, fucking Timmy here only studied for, like, 30 seconds, dude, and he got a fucking 56 because he's slow as hell. All right? But then let's say that, you know, some person here studied for, like, five hours, you know? And let's say they get a, a better grade. They got, like, an 85 or something. And then let's say some person, like, just never leaves their room, dude, and they, they studied for 10 hours, and they got a 100, right? Do you see how there's kind of, like, a I trend to this? Room, I don't get hundreds. It's okay. You don't have to get hundreds, dude. Um... You see how there's kind of like yeah, a trend, no, a trend here though. You see a trend here, Cipher, right? As like I study no. more, as I study more, I get oh, better yeah. grades. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So these these are a bunch of data points, you know, and this is what happens in the real world. Is that like you go out, you take data points, right? You go out and you're like, only gay people use those. What? Gay people use those. Gay people, no, dude. Gay people and straight people use data points, dude. What data points is, dude? I use data points all the time, bro, dude. I go out and I'm like, okay, cool. When I wear like this shirt, like, how often do like girls still talk to me? You know, like, or like, if I wear these pants, like, how often dude, do I get a number, a dude? You have a PhD in like the science or some shit. I do. I'm... Girls don't talk to you. Girls don't talk to me, dude. That's cap, <laughs> dog. It's fucking cap, dude. I posted a video of me talking to some chick. I use someone's who's who's pickup line do I, did, I, I did, use? I dude, she was a real chick, dude. Um, yeah, no. Data points are useful, dude. You go out, dude, and like you um you collect data, and then from that you can determine trends. Okay, here's an example of someone uh doing some data where they're looking at how often did the kids study and like what grade did they get, right? Um, what's uh, let's Seven. let's think of something else like. What's something you like to do, Cypher, dude? What, give, me, give, me, give me something you like to do. Masturbate. Masturbate, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't really go over a problem about that without getting into trouble. Can you choose something else, please? <laughs> um, give me something else. It's not like... Punching children. Punching children. No, no, no violence. Give me something else. Playing Battlefield 5. Thank you. There we go. There we go. We got something that's finally family safe or something. Yeah, playing Battlefield 5. Okay. Let's let's say, let's say, let's say, okay, playing Battlefield 5, let's say, like, the number of kills you get, right? Okay? Seven. Okay. But, okay, but let's do this as a function of something, okay? Let's do this as a function. Okay, or, no, or here, you know what, dude? You know, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do number of kills. And we're going to do this based on uh, the number of hours that you play, okay? Or here, let's do, like, minutes. Let's do minutes, for, in for instance, okay? Okay? How many kills do you think you... I play for hours. I know you play for hours, dude, but here, look, we're going to do minutes first because we're going to do this, like, as part of a round, okay? Like, so, in, in one minute, like, how many kills do you usually get? Each round is 30 minutes. Cool. So tell me how seven many kills you... Kills during the entire you only game. get seven kills out of the entire thing, dude? What? Okay. Yeah, I just finished a game. 
Yeah. And I only got seven kills. Okay. And like ten deaths. Okay, so let's let's say in the first minute, let's say you play a couple games, okay? Let's say in one game after the first minute, you've gotten zero kills, okay? Let's say okay. let's say in another game, however, Cypher, let's say that, like, for instance, I don't know, you, like, just rushed, like, their spawn and you managed to rack up three kills, cool? That would be another example yeah, of a, da- of a data point. To do that. The map's big. Yeah, I don't know, whatever, dude. You grab the fucking chopper, dude, and you <laughs> run over there and you just kill them all, cool? All right. There's choppers in here? Yes, dude. There's what? choppers in Battlefield, aren't there? This is like a place in World War One, dude. Oh, this isn't Battlefield Five. That's called Battlefield One. Right? Oh no. This is Battlefield Five, but it's like Is is Battle World War something, I don't know. Oh. I think it's World War Two, maybe. Alright, whatever. Whatever. It let's just I don't know. You take the fucking airplane or something, dude. Um, okay. Let's say after ten minutes, right? Let's say one round, you got two kills. Another round, I don't know. You got like you got fucking five. Okay, let's say after fifteen minutes, you know, one time you were really sucking. You only had one kill at that point. Um, let's say at, at twenty minutes, you were doing really well. One round, you had like I don't know, seven kills or something up here, right? Um, yes. Cool. And then let's say at thirty minutes, um, you know, one of these games you had a lot of kills. One of these games you didn't. Do you see how like we're plotting like data points? Mm-hmm. You see how like. You play games, and um, you're marking down, like, at what time, how many kills you had. That's taking data, right? Okay. What's the trend that you see here, Cypher? What's the trend that you see? Um, positive. Really... It's positive. Good. So, so the cool thing about this, Cypher, dude, is that we could create what's called a trend line, okay, which would approximate what happens on average, okay? This is an example of a trend line. What's up? Good, it is like a rate of change thing. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, good, Grim. Yeah, it's like a rate of change. So the reason why this trend line is useful, guys, is because if I have this line, which, like, approximates what's happening, right, I can then use this to figure out how many kills you would have way out here. Let, let's, let's, let's say in, instead... Well, we start looking at, like, how many kills does he have after, like, 60 minutes, okay? Pretend a, pretend a match can last 60 minutes, okay? 14 kills, possibly. Yeah, right. Do you see how this, this line could get extended out, and then that would allow me to estimate how many kills you would get at 60 minutes? Yes, sir. Do you see that? Yes, sir. This is the whole reason that, like, taking data and shit is useful, is because, like, you can... This game is ass. Because what what's ass what dude? Oh, uh, I was talking about my, my teammate. His name is his aim is ass. Oh well, stop playing the game. We, we we're learning here. We're learning. Here. <laughs> I, I had teammate named Sepro once. Don't don't cap. And I kept here. calling him Sepro the entire time. All right, okay. So here you go. This is another That's trend. Good. I know this isn't as interesting, but like you know, they're talking about how much time you study and like what grades you get and shit. This is also a trend line, right? You see how there's like some trend, and. What oh, they yeah. want you to do is they want you to get an equation, right? The this is the equation right here is for this. This is the equation of the trend line, okay? And from that equation, you can then determine what the expected amount is at any amount of, like, time studied or, like, for instance, the amount of hours that you play. You can figure out, like, if I wanted to figure out how many kills you should have at, like, 45 minutes, I could because I just plug that into this whatever the equation of this line is. And that'll get me what they're the amount stalking. should be. It's called stalking, Doctor Gold. What? You don't have to do that. It's called stalking. Called stalking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what do you mean it's called? Weirdo. St- What's called stalk? What, do you, what the fuck you mean it's called stalking? What? What? Why are you stalking his game? Why do you want to know everything about him? Oh no, dude! I'm just giving yeah, him an example, dog. Weirdo. Yeah, chill, dog. Okay. Mm. Chill, bro. Okay. Here, here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. Cool. So. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, all right. Let's let's keep it chill. So, um, we have some data here, right? That um, we're gonna try and make a trend line from. Okay. So here, here's what I wa- cipher. Here's what I want you to do. Can you can you can you read these numbers to me? These top numbers, these top numbers for X, and these t- and then the bottom numbers for Y. Can you just read them to me, please? I, oh wait. I was gonna say like I can't see your screen, but I'm like, oh wait. No, but you have it. the homework, dude. It's your it's your fucking homework, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna call it two five one zero four two three. Okay, so two five 
one zero four two three. Okay, cool. Oh, Give me the other numbers. What's up? Yeah, I didn't think you would get that. Oh yeah, why not, dude? Oh. The fuck, dude. Okay, so seventy-seven, ninety-two, seventy, sixty-three. What was the other one? Ninety, I think. Uh, seventy-five, eighty-four. Is that right? Yeah. How the fuck do you know? <laughs> dog, dog, don't try me, bro, dude. I'm really good at like memorizing numbers, dude. Like, contrary to popular belief, as a physics person, I do get girls' as numbers. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. All right, dog. Yo, yo. Okay, so so here we have, like, some data, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a fucking graph out of this, All right? Have you ever used uh, Google Google Sheets oh. to, make, to make graphs and stuff? No. No? D but do you know what Excel is? Do you know what Excel is, kind of? Imagine using a calculator. Imagine using a calculator. Okay, here's what you do. So, guys, you're, you're just... So, I, I'm going to put the data in like this. I put this in into individual columns. See, I put the X data in this column. I put the Y data in this column. Right? Yeah. Okay, we're going to graph this. Okay, so I'm going to highlight these two things. I'm going to go to Tools. Uh, Or no, so Insert. uh, Chart. Click here on Chart. Um, and here we have it. We have our data. You see this? You see this beautiful, this beautiful thing? That's hot. That's hot as right. That's hot. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty fucking sexy, dude. Doctor Gold, am I hot? Am I hot, Doctor Gold? Yes. No. Every, all all of you guys no. are beautiful in your own way. You're adopted. Uh, I'm adopted. No. Be nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. So so do you, do you see this data? Do you, do you see how like for instance this x axis here, right? This is the amount of hours that the kids study and this y axis is the grade. You see a trend here, right? Like as the kids study more, like they do better in their classes, which is like duh. But um the cool thing here is we can use this to kind of like predict like based on how much you study, what grade should you get? And the way to get that is to get a trend line, all right? So the way to get a trend line is to do what's called linear regression, which is a big fancy word for, you know, just like fit a line to this data. Um, and you can do this on your calculator and you can also do this in Excel. The way to do this in Excel is we're just going to click on one of these data points here, right? And you see where it says trend line right right here? It says like format, like trend line or something. You guys see oh, that? Yeah. See this down here? Trend line? I'm going to click that, all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I want to mm -hmm. see the equation for this. So you see where it says label here? I'm going to say um, use equation, and then there's my equation right there. Okay, cool. So this this right yeah. here, guys, this this equation, 6.09x plus 63.9, that's the equation of this line, this trend line, this line that's going through all the points, okay? okay? So in your question here, right, the equation is going to be y equals 6.09x plus... 63.9. Cool? Do you see that? Wait, what, why why those 6.09 what? Plus 63.9. That's that's what came from this. That's what came from this equation up here. That's the equation of the line. You you know an equation of a line, right? Equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus b. Yeah. Okay, so what this equation does is that if I put x, if I put any value into x, which is the amount they study, and I figure out the math here, it'll tell me y, which is what their predicted grade is, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's say, for instance, someone studied zero hours. What grade do you expect them to get? 100. Why? Oh, 63.9, good. Because you see if I put in zero to here, this this whole thing becomes zero, and now just grade equals 63.9? Mm-hmm. Okay, so now answer the question, what would be the grade of someone who, who studied for six hours? What would I do? 100. No, no, sorry for dog. Oh, well, I'm just actually, guessing because... 
Well, you are kind of guessing. You might, are, you're, you're actually guessing correctly, which is unfortunate. Yeah, because uh, uh, wherever 5 is X, they got a 92. Because they're smart, and they studied like a little bit. Well, okay, that's the data point, but that's not what the prediction is, right? Okay. You got to use the equation oh. for the prediction. Oh, I see. You saw this and just wrote 63. No, 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 no. You got to use the equation, Cypher. Use the equation, dog. Use the equation. Don't don't use the data oh, points. Oh, use the equation? Use the equation. Use oh. this beautiful fucking thing we just came up with, dog. Oh, yeah. I think we forgot about that. Um, I don't know. Okay. Study for six hours means into here, I need to put six. Okay. <coughs> so I get 6.09 times six plus 63.9. Okay. That gets me 100.44. You see that? You got 44 extra points? No, 0.44. Yeah. 0.44 extra points? Yes. I guess. Well, that's what's predicted, right? Okay, ass kisser. Ass <laughs> kisser. God damn it. It's okay to do well in school, Cypher, dude. It's not the end of the world. No, it's not. You want you want to do well. You do you want to work at McDonald's, Cypher dog? You want to work at McDonald's? Do you want to no, make do you want to make my be a biologist? Good. If you want to be a biologist, I be then. A biologist. And if that doesn't work out, then I'm going to be a stripper. Oh, okay. Well. Or a prostitute. Or a prostitute. Prostitution's <laughs> illegal in the United States, so you're gonna have to go somewhere else for that. Uh, and it's and. only illegal if you get caught. It's only like no. God damn it, cipher dog. Oh man. Okay. All right. Cool. Does that make more sense to you, Cypher? Did you did you fucking yeah. learn something today? Yeah. So, would you be able to help me with one more? I would. You want to post it, Nick? If you have a question, post yeah, it in the Discord. Real quick. I'm, am I still on hold with the bank, dude? I am. You guys want to hear? Yeah, me? I put you on hold. Oh yeah, we're still on hold, baby. Who are you calling, baby? I'm not sure, baby. I'm talking to my phone, dude. Nick, I'm on your phone. Nick, what is this question, dude? <laughs> Nick, is your question Fortnite, dude? What did they change the map on Fortnite? They do something weird. Yeah, I stopped playing Fortnite because they changed it way too much, and I said fuck that, and okay. I stopped playing. All right, that's cool. The the picture of what next question is sending. All right, I'll wait for it. That's gay. It's okay. Not everything is gay. No. Oh wait, that guy died. Oh wait, that guy died. Oh fuck, I'm dying. Wait, what game are you playing though, dude? Battlefield Five. Is Battlefield Five really World War Two? Yeah, let me check. Oh, it is. It is World War. It's World War One. No. Told you. No, it's World War Two. It's World you War Two. Yeah, I, I, my bad. Battlefield uh -huh. One is 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 World War One. Um, I like how it took them five games to make a game about World War Two. Dude, yeah, yeah, no, 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 dude. Okay, dude, yo, you're too young for this. But like the first, the first Battlefield, um, uh, Battlefield 1942, is um, that's World War Two. You're just too young, dude. This is this is like the first battlefield game ever, bro. It 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 took them five games for you to be old enough to remember to, that they made like a a battlefield game in World War Two. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, oh these cool. guys not taking any damage. What the fuck? All right. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. All right. How how are we gonna do this one? Same way we did the other one. Yeah, good. Same same way we did, we went we did the other one. Okay, so let's 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 make another. We're gonna make a new sheet here and make a new sheet. You tell me what to do. You tell me what to do in Excel here. Um, what am I gonna put do? it on the the sheet and put X and Y. Put X. Put put Y. Good. 
What is X? The X values are 4.75, uh-huh. 6.84, 12.52, 20, 42, and 8.79. Okay, good. Or 8.79, sorry. Fuck. Okay, cool. Those are good. Those are X values, yeah. Nope, 8.97. Oh, 8.97. <laughs> oh, dude, you fucking you're joking with me, dog, dude. Okay, what are the Y values? Exactly. 0. 0.50, 0. 0.90, 0. 0.150, 3, and 1. Oh, it's... Wait, wait, wait. Is it 0. 0.150 or is it 1.5? 1. 1. 1.5. 1. 1.5. 1. 1. Good. All right, now what do I do with this? What's the next thing I do? Um, go to tools. Okay, we're going to highlight. Highlight data first. Yeah. Well, it, it's yeah. not tools. It's going to be actually, sorry, it's insert. Go to insert, right? Yeah. Insert, and then we're going to do uh, chart. What? And then do you see it? I'm naked. Get out. It's hot in here. Exactly. I didn't skip you, Nick. I didn't skip you, Nick. I'm just I'm just helping Cypher with his. What do you want, Mom? Okay, <laughs> what what do I do next here? What do I do next here? What do I do next here, Cypher? Close my door, mother. What? <laughs> Close the door, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to fight you, bro. <laughs> Hey, God, Dr. Gold, everyone's back. What? <laughs> Nick, what's your question here, dude? What is... I want to go somewhere. I want to know on the line, where's the closest for me to jump? Hey, I'm back. All right, cool. You, d- so you, I, done, you done fighting your mom out of your mom room? Up real quick. Yeah, okay. All right. All uh, right. Okay, so we got the data here. Do you see how we're graphing, for instance, like tip versus like yeah, whatever the cost was? <laughs> you don't see this? Come on, dog. I see it. I just don't know what to do after we graph it. Oh, okay. Well, we're, we're trying to figure out. What are we trying to figure out? Do you see? What is your homework asking for you, dog? Um, what, what the is equation. It? The equation. And the, the tip expected. Good. So what's the equation? Do you remember, do you remember what that is? Do you remember what the equation is between data? Remember what that is? Y equals MX plus B. Good. Very good. Okay. So I'm trying to get something. I'm trying to get a trend line on this data is what I'm trying to do. Right? Trend line. So I just click on some of the data points here. I can just click here. Make me a trend line. Show me the equation. Uh You see that? See how there's an equation up here now? Right? You see that? Yeah. I'm writing it down. You have point one five seven x minus point two nine nine. Minus. Well, it's because it's plus negative. Plus negative is minus. Oh, okay. So now to. Find we put ten point five zero for X. Good, good, dude, good. Yes, bro. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What do you got? Special. I know you're figuring it out, dude. Um, I don't have a calculator. Okay, I'll do it for you. You put ten point yeah, five zero into X, right? Into yeah. here. So then. You do 10.50 times 0.157, then you subtract, right, 0.299. So that gets you 1.35. Gets you 1.35. Okay. Oh, nice. Which you can kind of, you can kind of. Mr. Gold. Dr. Gold, don't call me Mr. Dude. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you're good. Mr. Gold. Dr. Gold, bro. (laughs) Dr. Gold. Okay, so ten point Mr. Doctor Gold. Mr. Doctor Gold. Do you see how like at, <laughs> at ten point five here, right? That corresponds like up here. It's like a dollar thirty, right? Oh yeah. Cool. 
right? That's that's what the trend line does. The trend line allows you to predict, right? Because if you looked at the original data here, right, none of this was that. none of this was ten dollars, right? You see how we had like a four dollar, six dollar, twelve dollar, twenty, and like nine. We didn't see how much the tip mm -hmm. was going to be for ten. But by creating a trend line, it lets you do what's called interpolating. It lets you figure out what would be the data point in between these two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. On you. Hey. Cool thing, shit. <laughs> All right. Cool. Congrats, dude. Did you, did you learn something today, Cipher? Yes. No. But thank you. <laughs> but thank you, dude. Fuck you, dude. What? <laughs> thank you for helping me use my homework. Okay, you're very welcome. I hope I hope I hope you're able to do the rest of your homework. You know, with what you that was, learned. That was the only questions on my homework. Okay, well I guarantee you they're not going to be the only questions on your homework for the foreseeable future because you always need to do this shit, dude. And dude, especially like if you ever like start doing like any sort of like lab class or whatnot, they're gonna make you do this shit. Cool. Lab. Yeah, labs, labs, dude. Yeah, like doing lab classes. No, I'm not because I'm gonna drop out and get my GED. No, don't drop out, dog. Please don't drop out of school, dude. Um, Nick, I'll answer. Like Nick, I'll answer your question real quick. It's something Fortnite related, dude. Nick, what's your question, dude? Hop in, hop in the chat, dude. What's going on here? Official Nick YT. Official Nick, Nick, dude. What's up, dude? Dark aspect, bro. I'm not skipping you, bro. Where are you? <laughs> Dark ass. Dark aspect, dog. There he is, bro. What's up, Nick? No, 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 no. It's the boy Nick. What's up, Nick? What can I help you with um, on this, dude? Wait. The flipping screen is not loading. Oh, there you go. Like, yeah. I wanted to see, like, uh, where is, like... How many dicks in your ass? No. Cypher, don't make Where I jump too. out is, like, less um time I had to get to the... Wherever I wanted to go. Oh, it's a good question, actually. Okay. Um, right above oh, God. That depends, actually, on what the speed of the bus is. This is actually a very cool physics problem, actually. Yeah. Yeah. We have to know, like, what the speed of the bus is. And I also need to know what, like, what this distance is, I guess. I need to know distances. Because, okay, Nick, this is, this is, this, this is like a triangle, right? You see how, like, for instance... If I draw yeah. some red. Like the the bus starts from all the way. Um, I know the bus starts from already over here, right? So you see, yeah, yeah, if, yeah, if you yeah. got off, if you got off over here, right, you'd have to travel this far, right? Yeah. So, the the distance that would be the shortest amount of distance would be here, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. The issue though is um, that if you jump here, right, you have to wait a while versus if you just jumped. Right here, right here, you would yeah. get you would get to jump sooner. This is like, this is actually a very cool problem. This is a very cool problem. Yeah. Um, that I need to look up some more information to like actually figure out because what it, it depends on a couple things. It depends on first off how fast it, does the bus move, right? Depends like how fast does does this bus move, um, and also how fast do you move? So when you jump out, like how fast do you do you move across the map? Um, I mean, do you really need to know the how fast? You do, you do, because think about this. Let's Why? say the let's say the bus moves moves very very quickly. Okay, let's say the bus moves very mm -hmm. very quickly. It does. It's the fastest thing. Okay. On the map. Well, if the bus moves very very quickly, then there's not much of a time delay, right, between jumping here and jumping here, right? But the mm -hmm. distance. Yeah, we're off now, bye. All right. Good to see you, Cipher, dude. But the distance, right? The, the, you know, this is quite. This is probably a big distance. Like, this is a lot longer than this is, right? So now yeah. it depends on like how fast do you move, right? Because um, like if half the speed of the bus, I guess you think it's like half the speed of the bus. Let's think here for a second. That's actually kind of a cool problem. I've been actually trying to give you this problem like for a whole week. It's cool, dude. I like it. Um, yeah, it's more um, difficult if if you put the marker all the way in Pleasant Park, like on top of. Here, Pony. let's. You know, this is actually cool. I'm gonna let me let me make sure. Do I have a kid after you? One sec. Let me let me make sure I don't have a kid after this. I might um.
I got a kid at 5.30. Up, so I, got, I got 20 minutes. I want to do this one. What's so, up, Jack? This is a cool question, actually. Okay. All right. Let's 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 say let's say that um, let's say your marker where you're trying to jump is here, okay? Mm-hmm. And let's let's say you're coming across it on a line, okay, like this. And we're gonna make we're gonna make some assumptions that that you said, okay. So I'm gonna call this distance x, okay. And then let's call this some other distance, okay. Let's call this distance uh, y, okay. All right, um, and then we need a couple speeds here. So let's call the velocity of let's call let's call VB the the velocity of the bus, and let's call uh, VP the velocity of the person. Okay. Gold is gold is helping me, Jack. I can't even hear Jack. I think I have him like. Super yeah, Jack muted. is asking if you can hear him. Yeah, Jack, what's up, dude? Hi, Jack. What's going on, dog? Did you didn't hear me? Yeah, I had your use your volume down because I, I was trying to teach last time. Okay. All right, let's 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 look at a couple a couple points here. Let's let's see like the time, right? The time it mm -hmm. let's let's look at for instance the time it would take if you jumped from here. Okay, right? So the time if you jumped from here. Let's call this like position one. Let's call this like position two, for instance. The time at position mm -hmm. one would be equal to the amount of time it took for you to get from two to one. So um, that's uh, that's okay. That's y divided by the velocity of the bus plus. Do you need like the meters or whatever? Because there's like meters. How far that away would help. You, that would help. How but far you are. I th that that would help. But I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Um, in terms of just values here, we can just figure out what's the best here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and then let's say like the velocity. I jump when the it, it uh stops the number. Well, yeah, when the number uh, is a close. So this this is this would be when the number stops. Do you see how your distance is really mm -hmm. long here, right? But then when you're here, mm -hmm. like you're closer. Then you're closer, and then you're closer. When you're exactly ninety degrees with it, that's when you're going to be the closest. Yeah, that's then, when it then like you start, then you start getting further. And then starts then, uh, yeah, going yeah. Do you see how it starts getting bigger again? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we're going to compare this distance to like any other distance, okay? So, um, jumping when it's the closest is going to equal to the amount of time it took for you to get from the bus to there, which is the distance divided by the velocity of the bus. Plus mm -hmm. the amount of time it's going to take from you to get from here to here, which is the distance from here to your point divided by the velocity of the person. Okay. All right. So that time is equal to y over vb plus x over, and we said that the velocity of the twice the velocity of the person is the velocity of the bus. So here, actually, let's let's do it this way. We're gonna say this is y over. I can't hear you because of. Grim, give me a second. Yeah, one sec. You can mute him if you need to. I can't server mute him. Well, Wait. Grim's not making any noise. I don't hear. I don't hear Grim at all, dude. What are you talking about? I'm just gonna mute him. Whatever. Okay, whatever. And Jack. Okay. Okay. So this is equal to. Let's see. This is gonna be y plus two x over two vp. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's look at the second time. The second time would be if we just jumped here, right? Which is going to be whatever this distance is. This is a this is a right triangle, guys. So this is a this is a Pythagorean thing, where this distance here is going to be the square root of x squared plus y squared oh divided by um, divided by vp. Ah, okay. So then here's the question. The question is, what's bigger? What's bigger? Is y plus 2x over 2 bigger than the square root of x squared plus y squared. Ooh, okay. That's actually pretty cool. Can we tell which one is bigger? Let me square them both. Let me square this one. Well, if you square it, it's going to just be x plus y, right? Yeah. Let me square both sides, sorry. 
This is one fourth y plus two x squared. And we're comparing this to x squared plus y squared. Wait, where did you get one fourth from? Because uh, I if I square this whole thing, mm -hmm. right? Um, that this is the same thing as one half times something, right? So one half squared mm -hmm. is one fourth. Because one half squared is one half times one half. Doctor Gold, what's up, girl? What's the monomer for? Uh, what's the monomer for nu uh, nucleic acid? Uh, I don't know. Is it polypeptide or something? Mm -mm. Okay, here. Let's get this. So this is gonna be four x squared. Nucleotide. Plus. 2xy plus y squared. And how does this compare to x squared plus y squared? Ah, okay. Are you doing the distributive property? Yes, this is me factoring is what this is. So this is <laughs> x squared plus xy over 2 plus y squared over 4 compared to x squared plus y squared. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Oh, damn, I actually forgot how to do the distributive property. Hey, you just multiply well, through everything. Right kind of cool. What did you do with the exponent, though? The exponent? Which one? This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this was me just doing, if I do uh, A plus B squared, that's the same thing as A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Um, Why 2AB? That's just how the rule works. It's just it's called foil. You ever done foil before? Mm -mm. We do this times this plus this times this. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you get. You end up getting two AB. Um, this is this is curious actually. Okay, so what's the? Do anybody want to work on this? Uh, I might in a bit, Jack. I, let me let me let me see what this is. After you get done. Yeah. I think this is the shorter distance. I I think it is, honestly. Depends on what... Depends on the relationship between X and Y. Maybe there's a minimum to this. Huh. I'm trying to see if it depends. Yeah, it, 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 it matters actually on a couple things here, Nick. It matters on, like, how far how far the line is. How far the line is from this? Mm -hmm. Um. Duh. Oh, actually, no, no, no. So these these cancel. This cancels. This cancels. Okay, okay. This this is our difference. X y over two plus y squared over four compared to y squared. Ooh, ooh. Okay. This is cool. Damn. Wait. Which? Can you um cross out the y two from both sides or yeah. no? Yeah. Or no, because it's divided by four. Yeah. No, no, no. No, because it's divided by four. Yeah. Um. Damn! Imagine confusing Doctor Gold. Yeah, it's not confusing. I I'm trying to. I'm trying to do it with no information. Is what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Is yeah, it possible? You know what it does? Yeah. No. No. It depends on what the distance is. Okay. Yeah. If the distance if if the distance from the line to the point you're going to go is very small then you always want to jump at the at right at the 90. If the distance starts yeah. getting big Okay, let's say the distance was equal to y. Oh, here's a good one. Let's let's say that this distance is equal to where you're jumping from. Mm -hmm. In that case, that becomes um y squared over 2 plus y squared over 4 oh which is still just 3 quarters y squared which is still less than y squared ah okay and there's no way it would be bigger than where you're jumping from yeah I think you basically you yeah yeah this proves J Nick you do always want to jump when the distance says it's the shortest that's what you want to do mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. all right I mean, Should okay, I, next this, time... this also doesn't account for the amount of time it takes for you to glide downwards, which is a whole other aspect oh we have my. to... Yeah, I know, dude. There's a whole other variable to this. But that's what it is so far. Okay. 
Cool. All right, that was a cool question, Nick. Yeah. Actually, I like that one. That was a fun one. I'll give you a Should I next there. time uh, show you the numbers? If you can get the numbers, like, yeah. How, how far? Yeah, you know what you should do? I, mean, I can try to do it right now. Or No, it's already 8. Yeah, 15. no, you'd have to, I'd have to know a couple things. I'd have to know, for instance, how how quickly do you do you fall, right? How mm -hmm. quickly do you move left, right? How fast does the, bat, the, the bus move? And also, like, how high up you are. There's a couple things you need to figure out. Damn. In order to really get it. But that's a cool, cool I question. I think once I try to see how far up the bus is from the ground and uh -huh. it's like a thousand three hundred or something meters yeah exactly yeah you need some information like that yeah for sure yeah but then there's some weird stuff okay. where like isn't it it um that um you know you start gliding at a certain point as well hmm yeah oh yeah do you see how there's there's a bunch of interesting stuff into yeah. this one there really is yeah it's a cool question honestly yeah um it's a cool physics question, is could, what it is. Could you make a question out of this? I could. I could definitely. Yeah. If put if I if, numbers if I put numbers into it, I definitely could. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. All right, we went a little bit over today, but um, that's yeah. all good. I I, I I had a good time. It was a good question. Um, so that is all for um office hours today. Um, thank you everyone who joined. Um, oh, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a Warzone custom match this weekend. So. If y'all are around, uh, I think I'm doing it Saturday. Um, hey, 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 hey. What's up, Grim? You, you're going to give credit for who got the idea? Yeah, Grim gave me the idea. Thank you, Grim. Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll do we'll do a, a final Warzone uh, match to, oh. to end the tournament out. Uh, and then I think next month we'll do Apex, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, again, um, we're streaming four times a week here, um, so feel free if uh, you can always hit exclamation point schedule to figure out what what days, what time. Um, we're gonna be back more to a regular schedule because I can see and stuff, and I'm not having any more people visiting, or I'm not throwing any more festivals in the desert. Um, <laughs> so thank you again for joining. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow at uh, it's gonna be three o'clock Pacific, five o'clock Central, six o'clock Eastern. Um, so come on by with your questions and we'll help you out. Peace guys.